What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And also, please do not forget to stop by CMPKids.com, get yourself Asha Cole's new pack. Um, it's going to be the samples that we're using today, so let us begin. Now... Um, you know, normally when I get a new sample pack, the first thing I do is just open up MPC, um, load it up in the browser and just hear what we got. So let's go ahead and do that. I like that one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's, that's, that's sexy. I like this. This is fire. I'm listening for a part where that guitar hits without the bass because I don't feel like going into the stems right now. I'm gonna go back to that on my own time. That's like, that's a dope ass Rod Wave beat right there. Let me stop right there like this all right so all right so let's go into npc mode we'll go into edit sample see what we got I know I ain't gonna make a beat at 110, so let me see. Let's see what I can do if I speed this up.
Let's see. Alright, so I'm just uh I'm speeding this up by pitching it up. This is kinda like the old school way. And but I like working like this sometimes. Good challenge. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just mess with the BPM until I catch a perfect loop and then I'll know what the BPM is. There it goes right there, 138.54. And that's how you used to get these uh, these um, different type of, um, what's it called, uh, times when you, you know, when uh, people used to just sample straight off the MPC and didn't have a time stretch like that, right? So boom, I got this going. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna go to another track. I'm gonna make another drum program. I'm gonna go to assign samples and hit the browser. We'll go ahead and go to the go to kits. Oh, my folders are different here. All right. Find a snare. Alright, so now that I, that, that's one thing I like about browsing in um, for drums inside of MPC is you could do it all in context, right? So let's go ahead and lay something down. One of the things I really like about MCC is the step sequencer, um, especially when it comes for <clears throat> when it comes to stuff like hi hats, because I like to um, add like different velocities to my hats. But being able to do this on the touch screen and have it have an element of randomness to it, right? Everything isn't, you know. Everything isn't the, you know, lined up the same. You're going to touch different spots. 
it's a it's a great way to get like easy grooves going All right, so let me go ahead and drop an 808 on it now. I'm gonna go to another track. I'm gonna hit the key group button. I'm gonna go menu. And let's go to Now this 808 kit I have, it's everything set to C, which is why I like it. I'm gonna go to program edit and set the polyphony to mono. This way everything cuts itself. Go to samples, make sure I have the uh, the 808 sample selected and then go to pan, or go to, uh, pan velocity. And then you just want to, um, whatever key your 808 is in, set the root note to three. That way when, or to, to, to the third octave. That way, when you go and play it on pad perform and you set your scale. So for example, if we go, let me see, if I go back into the computer and we look at, actually, no, we don't have to, we don't have to do this. If I go back into the menu, if I go back into main, go to track one, menu, edit sample. This was an A minor. And how far did we pitch it up? Pitch it up four, so we're going A, B flat, B. So we're going to C sharp. We'll go back to our MPC track, go to pad perform, set this to C sharp. And now we can play in key. To this view, see if I can clean anything. Actually, I don't even need to. Let's let's do it all on here. Dude, this touch screen, it's super slow. I don't like dealing with it, so I don't care what you call me, but I'm using <laughs> I'm using a stylus for this because it's way easier. I'm just going to go to edit end. Clean these up a little bit, make them make sense.
and for just like getting into some of the um, some of the hi hats. If we want to do, if we want to do like a better job, go ahead and set my time correct to like thirty two t. So if you guys want to get this pack, all you got to do is go to cmpkits.com. It is right here. Um, as you can see, it's easy to make beats with this thing. And, you know, for, for the MPC side of this, don't be afraid to, like, instead of, instead of going straight to time stretch, uh, to, 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 uh, to rework the tempo of, a uh, of a sample, you know, take your sample and then mess with the tune, tap out the tempo and try to catch the loop the way that I did. What you're going to wind up finding is a lot of easy bounce comes this way. Trust me on that. Um, and then if you have good samples like Asha's from cmpkits.com, you have the, the key information in there already. It's super easy. Get yourself some good 808s that are tuned to C. And then you see like just making beats with your hands. Super fun. So this is CAP with Craftmaster Productions, studio12tutorials.com. Keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we'll see you on the next one.